just going to be like old school showing you some music in a folder. I was rehearsing this last night. This was one of our songs and I thought, oh, this fits the bill because this has uh, repeat signs in it. This has a coda in it. It's got all kind of fun rhythms in it. So it'll be a good example for us to go through and just identify some of the things that you will encounter in choir music as well. So, all right, so here we go. This is the beginning of King of My Heart. Everything seems pretty normal. Here we are on the second page. It's got a notation there if that's where the chorus is. And then here we are in verse two. We keep going. All right, so this is where it gets interesting. See, right on the chorus is that it looks like an S with a line through it, and I think it even has a couple of dots. Yes, it does. It's a fancy, fancy sign, and it's called a, a sign, exactly as you would imagine. So make a mental note, because that means we're coming back to it. And then here we are. This looks like a kind of a bullseye, and we're just make a mental note again. We'll, we'll go over what that means in a minute. Okay, and here's a repeat sign, and this is our bridge. So, so far we've just been going through the music like normal. Da 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 da, da 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 da, da 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 da. We see a sign. Oh, okay, we're gonna make a note about that, and we see another sign. We're gonna remember that, and then we see this double bar line with two dots, and this is a repeat sign. Okay, so it means we're coming back here when we get to the other repeat sign. And you see that is here, okay? So we're singing the bridges. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. <laughs> never gonna let, never gonna let me down. You're never gonna let, never gonna let me down. And then you go back to the repeat sign, do that whole thing again, and when you get here, it's no longer your first time through, it's your second time through. So then you go to the second ending. And da da da, da we see DS all coda. Okay, so that means Go back to the sign and, until you get to the coda, okay? So go back to the sign. Here's our sign. And then we sing, 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 sing until we get to this little bullseye, which tells us to go to the coda, okay? And then here we are. Here's the end of the piece. We got another repeat sign with a first ending and a second ending, and then we're done. So that was just a quick overview of coda, sign, repeat sign. There is a description of each of those signs as a part of the cheat sheet that I've made that goes into all of the notes of the treble clef and rhythms and signs. I've put all of that on one piece of paper and I call it the alto cheat sheet. So if you've not gotten it yet, again, you can either comment or message me and I will get that to you.